Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be discussing things that I feel makes an outfit less fashionable or kind of cheapens a look. I have a list on my phone, let's get into it. Number one on my list are Apple watches. I'm specifically wearing Apple watches with a really fancy or fashionable outfit. I feel like it just ruins the look to be honest. Even when people wear like really cute bands, I feel like the style of the watch is just not cute. It's very sporty. I don't know, it doesn't mesh well in my opinion with a lot of different aesthetics. Obviously for like casual wear when you're working out, it makes sense, it works. The next thing on my list is thin pleather. I'm totally okay with pleather that looks high quality or mimics real leather. The monstrosities that I see at the thrift store are a crime. I've seen tons of paper thin pleather leggings, pleather jackets, pleather tops even like button up tops and they look so bad. I would avoid investing in cheap looking pleather at all costs. I think it's worth investing and saving up for a good quality pleather piece or a real leather piece secondhand of course. Also the fact that cheap pleather is being sold high end too is unacceptable. I've seen some very cheap looking pleather pieces from Nordstrom upwards of like $200 and $300 which no thank you. Next is circular zippers and you guys know the ones but I'll show a bunch of examples on the sides here. I don't know what it is about these zippers but I hate them. They give Ross, they give... but not cute stuff from Ross because I'm not trying to knock Ross. Ross has a lot of cute things sometimes. It doesn't matter from the, if they're from the mall, the thrift store, more high-end brands. If they use this zipper, I think it cheapens a piece. The next thing on my list is jeggings and I feel like 90% of you are gonna agree with me. I hope so. <laughs> Something about jeggings lacking structure looks cheap to me. Might as well just wear leggings. Like you don't have to make the leggings look like jeans. And I hate that it has like a stretchy waistband. And they do like the pretend pockets in the front and the back. Ouch. Terrible. I really feel like those should be banned. I totally get wanting to be comfortable, but I definitely feel like there's better alternatives. For instance, like wide leg stretchy pants or just straight up leggings, you know? Like flare leggings or just skinny leggings. Either one I think would be way more fashionable than jeggings. The next item is scrunchy butt leggings or specifically the ones that have a scrunchy texture all throughout the legging. Jail straight to jail and i would argue that they are unflattering i know the whole purpose of the scrunch is to make your butt look bigger whatever but i feel like there's definitely a more subtle way of doing this i've seen some leggings with like the tiniest bit of scrunch and the scrunch is actually sewn on the inside so it's very subtle there's no scrunch on the rest of the leggings i feel like those are fine i'm not the first person to talk about the next item and that is those ugly tortoiseshell buttons that they put on every cheap cardigan they're just such an eyesore and every time I see cardigans with those buttons, it makes me instantly dislike them. And I know that cardigans with these buttons are usually more inexpensive, but I would argue with you that you can find a better quality cardigan at the thrift store instead of spending your money at like Ross or Dee Dee's or something like that, where you're more likely to find cardigans with those buttons. Also, if you happen to have cardigans with those specific buttons, you can interchange them so easily. You can thrift some buttons. You can buy them at your local Michaels and just replace them and I promise you it'll make your cardigans look way more fashionable. The next thing on my list irks me to my core and that's skirts and dresses where the lining doesn't hit the hem. You see this a lot with see-through maxi skirts and I hate the look of it so much. I think it looks cheap. I feel like it's a way for clothing brands to cut costs and I wish they would stop. Oh my god, don't get me started with like expensive dress designers who do this. Just keep going. Just Add a few more inches of fabric, I promise you. It'll make it way better. Next is dressing and head-to-toe logos. I feel like this always looks cheap. Why would you want to be like a walking billboard for a specific brand? That usually they're not paying you unless you're like an influencer or something. I feel like if you want to incorporate logos into your fashion or into your outfits, pick one piece. Either like a purse, a side bag, the shoes, a belt, right? But like leave everything else logo-less. The next thing is overly distressed jeans. And I'm talking about very specific type of jeans. The ones that I think are the least fashionable are the ones with the big giant rips in the middle of the thigh. Also the ones that have just like tiny little rips throughout the whole whole pant horrible as well the only acceptable distressing to me is two knee rips and specifically in like a very 90s sort of way very like Kurt Cobain and usually these rips happen naturally not that they need to you can DIY them obviously I feel like that looks a lot more fashionable 
I might be very picky with the next one, but sweaters with the simple stripes in the middle. I hate them. I'll show examples. It's hard for me to describe. I think they're mass manufactured by every brand. I'm sick of seeing them. There's so many better striped tops and sweaters out there. Like for instance, the right way of doing stripes, I think, is a very like vintage 90 sort of stripe just either having like two long stripes in the middle of the chest or all stripes throughout either thin or thick i think that looks really good and way more fashionable please do not come for me but the next thing on my list is shein and romwe witchy alternative aesthetic and what i mean by that is anything with a tarot card on it pentagrams that like ugly print where it's like a cat with horns, crosses or anything like that. It's just the fact that it looks super cheap. And I totally understand, especially for like younger adolescents, that's what they can afford. But you can definitely choose things that are more subtle and less tacky looking. I feel like there's no individuality in it. And it's very cliche. And I think that's what I don't like about it. Alternative subcultures are supposed to be very like DIY, you know, secondhand. So it just feels very like consumerist. You guys have to agree with this next thing and that's shirts with a knot on them that serve no function either. Like I see a lot of these tops in different variations. They could be like long sleeve, button ups, just like a regular t-shirt, but they just have some random knot off to the side or right in the middle. I feel like this needs to go. I feel like it's been a thing since like the 2010s and I hate it. Also, I see this style a lot with plus size and I'm like, girl, you guys can do better. Like, why are they always doing this hideous clothes in plus sizes? Like, come on now. If you want to look fashionable, avoid these shirts at all costs. Get yourself a regular t-shirt. You can make your own knot in it if you really want that knot. The next two things are shoes, starting off with a zigzag converse. I don't really have much to say about it except that it ruins every outfit I've ever seen. Please get yourself to some regular Converse. If you really need platforms, get the platform Converse and call it a day. The next shoes are Crocs, but specifically when people put charms on them. I think that's what makes it super unfashionable. If you have like a really cute outfit, you put a bunch of work into it and then you're gonna pair your Crocs with charms on them. I'm sorry, but no, it completely cheapens the outfit. The next thing is drawstrings on a top, AKA cinching for no reason. This was a huge trend maybe like two to three years ago, but I still see them making the rounds online on Pinterest, not my Pinterest, but on Google. I don't like the detail, it feels unnecessary. It looks cheap. I don't really see the purpose. I don't like the look of it. Next thing is tie dye. I feel like it's impossible to make tie-dye look fashionable. Specifically tie-dye in a pastel palette. I feel like that looks horrendous. Tie-dye gives very like summer camp. It gives very much 12 year old doing their first DIY project. I don't like it. Let me know if you feel like it is possible to make it fashionable. I really want to know. The next thing is plastic rings. Not much for me to say about this. They are cheap and look cheap. Specifically the very like chunky square ones that were really big. 2020, 2021, I'm not sure. I feel like they've definitely died out. If you're trying to incorporate jewelry into your fashion, try to avoid plastic rings if you wanna look fashionable. Next is teddy coats and jackets. I'm sorry, but it just ends up looking like you're wearing your blanket outside. It cheapens a look, especially in a coat. I feel like it's overdone. I don't think it's a texture that's timeless at all. If you're trying to look fashionable, I would suggest incorporating a wool coat or just any other type of coat besides this one. Next is that one Nirvana sweater. Close your eyes and visualize. What am I talking about? I'm sure you guys already know. I'm talking about that one tie-dye pink Nirvana sweater. That's like $80 on Urban Outfitters, $80 for this hideous thing. If you really want a Nirvana sweater or Nirvana shirt, there's way cooler prints out there, I promise you, and probably cheaper than $80. The next three are jeans, starting off with jeans with the row of buttons, especially if they're in a skinny jean silhouette. I think looks so bad. Also, they're uncomfortable. The only acceptable version are the ones where the buttons are hidden behind a little flap. I think those are okay. In my opinion, go with the singular button. The next one is an absolute favorite of reality star men. If you watch Love is Blind, you know exactly what I'm talking about, <clears throat> Jimmy. And that's wearing skinny jeans, no-show socks, or no socks with dress shoes. It is the most hideous combination I've ever seen in my life. And if you're trying to be fashionable, please avoid this at all costs. We need to help these people. I wish I could be like a stylist on one of those shows. That is the first thing I would get rid of. The last style of jeans are called moto jeans. They're ugly. I don't really feel like there's a way to make them look fashionable. I guess you could say they align with like tacky fashion. That's really the only relation I can make. Last thing on this list is cut off hoodies. 
I hate this. Every time I see someone, I just can't help to giggle a little bit to myself. I feel like either wear a hoodie or a, a muscle tee. I don't see why we needed to combine the two. Explain to me, if there's a reason, let me know in the comments. At least a functional purpose to these. Maybe I won't giggle every time I see someone wear one. It instantly screams unfashionable to me. I feel like at the gym, whatever, I wouldn't even bat an eye, I get it, you're at the gym. But if you're just out in public, like at the bar with one of these, instant no. That's everything on my list. I hope you guys enjoyed this video or were entertained. Let me know if you agree with this list. If you disagree with this list, I'm totally okay with that. I hope I didn't offend anyone that was not my intent at all. I'm just trying to help people out who are finding their style, trying to be more fashionable. Hope you guys have a lovely week. Subscribe if you want to keep seeing my face. Leave below any requests in the comments. I listen, as you could see. Bye!